What comes next after you learn crossers? Hey, Drex here from Drex Factor Poi, sharing with you the love of poi spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, I'm gonna to show you what comes next after you learn how to do your poi crossers. Before we dive in, I just wanna give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow DNA, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyrotera Light Toys, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these amazing companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I've got down in the description of this video. So welcome back to my series, What Comes Next? The theory here is that once you learn a new poi trick, you know, there's inevitably new stuff that pops up that you're able to do that you can access now that you have those pieces under your belt. This series is about showing you some of those options. It's somewhere between a tutorial and a combo. It basically adds some more tools to your tool belt, and it also inspires you to try out some of the stuff that may be attached to that trick that you just worked so hard to get. And this week's video focuses on a trick that was requested by Iago Q. That's right, we're going to dive into our crossers. Ooh. I have long held a soft spot in my heart for crossers, specifically because they were really that first poi trick that I learned that I really, really, really had to work hard for, that it took several weeks worth of drilling different basic concepts before I could get them down. They're also kind of frustrating because since your arms are kind of locked into place, you know, your options for what you can do there are pretty limited. But I was still able to find three things that I think that you can learn once you've got your crossers under your belt. So let's dive in and check those things out, shall we? All right, so number one, and this should probably not come as a surprise to anybody who is super familiar with the videos that I make, especially the dance videos, but uh, yeah, one thing I love doing with crossers is pirouettes with them. Just like meltdowns, crossers are basically just scaled up reels, which means that they make for a great companion to any turn, especially pirouettes. They're also kind of challenging to do with pirouettes too, because in order to keep those planes clean, you're basically working in that place where you have to make sure that the movement stays in a wall plane kind of place, even as you're turning. And that's challenging. The poi are gonna start moving over into a horizontal plane. So catching them back in that crosser when you get to the end of the pirouette is key to find. And I have to give props to Nick Woolsey for this one because it was his tutorial on crossers that while it didn't give me any new information on how to do the crossers, seeing him do pirouettes with them was definitely a watershed moment for me in realizing, hey, there are some poi dance applications for these too. Trick number two. Granted, it only passes through crossers, but I've never found a good way to teach it without the person knowing how to do crossers. And that is Nevisol's body tracing hybrid. It's really astounding just how many pieces are buried inside of this one trick. Like it has components of a crosser, a windmill, as well as a four pedal anti-spin versus two pedal in-spin hybrid. I really, really gotta love just how many different pieces are integrated into this. And even better, I've done a few tutorials on this trick specifically, so if you wanna check those out, I will leave a link down in the description, uh, as well as up in the cards if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, seriously, if you don't already have this one under your belt, it is such a great thing to be able to bust out. I mean, body tracers just look cool in general, but there's something about this one specifically that kind of feels like you're just erupting from a place within yourself. I've found ways to integrate this into dance in various respects, and quite frankly, it is one of the most common hybrids that I do myself. Okay, so before I show you the final trick, I just want to ask if you have gone this far, then clearly you have an interest in both poi as well as how I present information about poi. So if you would please make sure to subscribe to help my channel grow as well as help other people find this video, I would super appreciate it. And while you're at it, if you have a request for a trick that you would like to see me feature in a future episode of What Comes Next, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks. All right, so for our last trick on this list, there was really no way of avoiding this, and I know if I didn't feature this trick, I would have so many people angry at me in the comments, even though I absolutely hate this trick. But here goes. That's right, it's the straight jacket. So this trick kind of drives me crazy because it looks so similar to a traditional crosser that you really don't get that much more out of your audience by being able to do it. It's incredibly difficult 
and quite frankly, a little uncomfortable to perform sometimes too. So is one of those tricks that I very frequently have to ask myself, why do I know how to do this? And there are some people that just like having the completest mentality about these things and quite frankly, find it a lot cooler to be able to do that crosser in a position where their arms are crossed or they happen to be really, really into poi inversions and they want to do something that topologically is really similar to an air wrap or a hyperloop. And you know what? These are all valid choices. Uh, I just think that the trick is a lot more work than it's actually worth. That said, your mileage may vary. I've seen lots of people that have made really, really cool things happen with this particular trick. And who knows? You yourself could be one of them. All right, friends, so those were three possibilities for what comes next after you learn your poi crossers. Uh, did you like my picks? Were there some tricks that I didn't feature in this list that you would like to have seen? Let me know down in the comments. And pretty please, I would love to see your versions of any one of these tricks. Please post video to Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, and make sure to tag me so I can come see your hard work. And even better, if you learn all three and you would like to turn them into a combo, I, for one, would love to see it. And in the meantime, I just want to put out a huge thank you because this video would not be possible without the kind contributions of these wonderful folks right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon, and they, along with the people that I've got listed down in the description, help to make this video and all the videos on my channel possible. If you would like to help me out in my work of bringing flow arts and poi spinning to the wider world and helping people creatively connect with their bodies and their brains, you can do so by heading over to patreon.com slash drexfactorpoi and signing up. There, you can get early access to all of my content, as well as a say in what topics I tackle in the future, plus some great extras and behind the scenes content as well. So go check that out please and thank you. If you'd like to check out more videos like this and learn what comes next with various different poi tricks, uh, you can do that by checking out the link that I've got down in the description or up here on screen if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube. Um, also, again, if you have requests for tricks that you would like to see me cover in future installments of this series, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, either which way though, please make sure to get outside and get your flow on today. I hope that the weather is great where you are. It's always good to get outside and get fresh air, and I will be back with a new video for you on Monday. Thanks so much, and I'll see you then. Peace.